Hey guys, this video is one where it's gonna be perfect for people with foot ankle issues, as well as toe ones, uh, lower back conditions, as well as hip ones. One of the basic exercises we show is the front wedge. We show a lateral wedge, a crossover wedge, and some variations of those too. But the front wedge is one that's a really easy progression where you can get to things like front planks and so on. So the way this goes is that, number one, you just find a wall or a car or something of that nature to lean into. You want to lean it up. And notice right now that my feet, my toes, are not down. We're not stretching. And we actually find people with some knee conditions, they actually like to go like this. So they drop and extend the knee. They're like, well, my knee hurts. And we're like, well, no kidding. Let's lighten that up a little bit right there. How does that feel? That feels better. Good. So if we're going to lean this wall up right here, we just need to make sure to get our spring system about us. Now, it might not be, um, it might be a little bit harder to keep low because of the belly, um, how hard the belly has to work, but that's okay. You can push hips back a little bit, load into the toes, and just hold this position too. Now this equates to running because we actually change from single leg stance to double leg stance and we can do some progressive loads with that. So I'm going to lean into the wall and we're going to make this a little bit more of the challenging one right here. Take a deep breath, load into the right foot, and bring the knee up. Now notice I'm looking like a sprinter out of the blocks and when I go from position A to position B, nothing changes except for this. Now, sometimes you can have people actually drive into a hand here, uh, someone else's hand, not your own, and it helps them drive the foot into the ground like we're actually gonna push the wall over. So, ideally, I tell people, you should be able to do that without me being there. So, force the, foot in, force the ball the foot into the ground, Force the wall over. Don't lose position between position A and position B. Hold for five to 10. Add some breaths. Or just go normal breathing because what happens is a lot of times is when you start to walk and run, especially run, uh, your breathing is going to tire out, your diaphragm is going to get tired, and a lot of times this decreases stabilization of the torso, so we start losing positions. So you can increase speed on this too, but for beginners, if you have pain with this or even having a position with this, then you need to refine your position. You could be extending, you could be extending with movement, you could be dropping, there could be a lot of possibility of things you're doing. So, if you've learned the bird dog exercise from us already, which you probably have, those same principles go into this. This section does not move. We're moving at the ball and sockets, and we're leaning the wall over, forcing the foot through the ground, and wedging ourselves between them. And that is essentially the wedge. Now, if you like this video and you're watching on YouTube, feel free to share it with some friends and give me a thumbs up. We are going to, or we have other uh, exercises correlated to that in those thumbnails on the side right there. And also there's a correlated article if you want to learn more about this and conditions like yours. Thanks.